Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and here on this channel we talk about writing, journaling, and productivity to help you curate a life that you love. So, we're finally in the new office space. Uh, <laughs> everything is slowly coming together and I am filming an office mini tour which should be coming out very soon. I don't know when, but hopefully soon. But for today, I wanted to do a little scrapbook spread because I haven't done one in such a long time. Yes, you guys did see one last week, but that last spread I made was made about a month ago. And so today I really wanted to create a spread just for the sake of my own sanity <laughs> um, because I've been needing to create. So for today, I tried to do a different spread specifically. I'm not, again, not sure I'm going to title this one. I think I call it my window spread, which you'll see why in a second. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and tried something different and I think it turned out really interesting and I would like to do some other spreads that are similar to this in the near future. So if you guys like this, then please let me know because it's a different take on artistic journaling. So yeah. Anyway, before we get into this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it. It lets me know that you like these kinds of videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. And as always, if you have any ideas or if you have any recommendations for scrapbooking and art journaling spreads that you want to see, please be sure to leave a comment down below letting me know. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, here we are. <laughs> so... For this spread, um, I was actually inspired by something I saw on Pinterest where um, some people had a really interesting window thing going on, as in like a little cutout in their notebook, and I thought it was really cool and I wanted to do something similar, so that is what we're going to be doing today. You'll see kind of what I'm talking about once we get further in, um, but I also wanted to paint for this journal spread because I have not painted in my journals in so long. I have done it in my main journal a couple times and I have used paint or painted small pictures for my scrapbook stuff, but it's not something that I do like a lot. And so I really wanted to um, do something different and just paint in this journal because for one, it the paper is sturdy enough that it won't like crinkle or anything, which is something I've had problems with in the past. and because um, this paper is made for painting and like watercoloring. So I really wanted to do something different and just paint in my journal. So I painted those first two pages black and then I flipped it over and I'm painting the other pages. I'm using a regular white cardstock piece of paper um, underneath each paper that I'm painting on. That way there's no bleed and it's not like getting on the table and all that good stuff. This also took me quite a while to do. So I had to paint the black pages first and then I had to wait a couple hours before I could even like close them on one another. And then as you can see here, I'm painting this other side and I paint both spreads here, like or both pages. And then I had to wait a longer time. So um, this did take quite a while to do. So if you guys are considering like painting in your journals, just know dry time, it's a factor that you gotta consider and it does hinder you if you're planning on painting on multiple pages. So I'm going to be painting a sunset here in on this page and it's mostly because I thought it would look really magical and very pretty and I've just always loved sunsets. Like I just, they're so pretty. Um, <laughs> so I was really excited to do one of those and I haven't painted in so long. Um, <laughs> right now I'm using a few brushes and sponges to kind of create some interesting effects and I also have all of my paint. I will link everything that I can down in the description box below so you can find something similar if you want to get my brushes or the paints. These little sponges, I think I just got at some craft store years ago and I got like a huge pack of them so I just had tons left over. But I use them to help me blend colors together and to create a softer look because I find that, for me anyway, because I have never formally um, studied how to paint, uh, my painting lines can be kind of harsh. So I haven't really learned how to properly paint things, so if my technique looks terrible, I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm just going at it with a happy heart, you know? Like, it's okay. I don't know what I'm doing, but that's okay. I had fun. <laughs> so 
I am using like the paint to create this like little sunset effect. Um, I did have to use a few different images on Google for inspiration, but I think overall it turned out pretty, pretty nice. I really like how the sponge worked. Um, I think it was kind of fun laying down the base colors because I remember thinking to myself like, okay, trust the process, trust the process because it would look really crazy. And then once I sponged it and like blurred it all together, then it looked like more like clouds and it just looked prettier. Um, so this is one of those things where like you lay down your initial like paint, you know, like that orange section, for example, and it's like, just trust the process. Eventually it will all come together somehow. So <laughs> that's what I'm telling myself as I do these. I did want to try something different and so painting was one of those things of course the window is another thing i feel like most of this video is just me painting so i'm really sorry about that um but it was something that was kind of fun to do it wasn't necessarily the easiest spread to do but in a way it was it was easy in the sense that there wasn't a lot of like cutting um gluing and like planning i actually planned out the entire layout of the spread weeks ago and then i just you know, finally unpacked everything and was able to finally sit down and paint and get this spread like into reality rather than just stuck in my head. Um, so that's been really nice since I've been working on the office and I finally have a little area where I can paint and work on these things. So that's kind of, um, it, it kind of went pretty, pretty easily, honestly. It was, there were, weren't a lot of problems and even while I was painting, I didn't really find that many problems. Again, I just kind of sponged the stuff, blurred it more, added more texture that kind of thing. If you're wondering um, where I got some of my inspiration for drawings, which you will see later in this video, I took a lot of inspiration from Canva because I just love Canva. If you guys have watched my videos by now, you know that I'm like, I use them religiously. So yeah, I painted this other side, this like sage green color. I don't know if that's sage green, but it's a green. <laughs> Um, I actually mixed the wrong color first and then I ended up going over it again So there's like a dark spot up there that I'm gonna cover um, And I just kind of went through this and to get into the little crevices between the like the black spiral bits I just kind of carefully went through with my brush into those little like Parts just to kind of really give it that full a like, green effect so at this point, it is a, a lot later, a lot later, and um, I put down my cutting mat and I pulled out my ruler and then that little like curved ruler, I forget that it, protractor, is that the word? I don't know if that's the word, but I used it to help me space out where I wanted the windows and I wanted curved like lines at the top, which you'll see once I cut them all out. So I'm using my X-Acto knife to cut out the parts. I actually painted on, one page black left the once you turn it there's like some white pages in the middle and then the other page was green and then i taped the two pages together just in case something went wrong in case painting went wrong that way i'm not really painting directly on the back of it plus it made it thicker for when we make this little window flip through as you can see you can also you'll also notice that it's not perfect um my windows are a little a little messed up the shape isn't right but Honestly, I still like it. It still looks okay, even though it's a little crooked. It's okay, we move on. But I am also using my white gel pen for creating some white designs. I'm drawing a moon and then I'll draw some stars like up in the sky um, in this like little cloudy like sunset image and they poke through on the window. So like when you look at it, it's like looking out of a window. So I thought that was really unique and really cool. I still don't know how I like this pen. It's kind of hard to use at times, in all honesty, because it doesn't go down super well, but it did write so much better on this paper, like with the paint versus construction paper. So I'm just never gonna use construction paper like that with this pen ever again, because that was a flop. So I'm drawing this little uh, abstract image, like line art type of thing of a person's face. And I got this idea off of Canva. So that is kind of the inspiration I drew. And I'm just using my pen to make this white outline. And then I will add some white stars and just go over it to make sure that everything is really bright and very noticeable. So that was kind of the plan. I really just needed something to fill up this side of the page. And I thought it was a really interesting, like drawing for whatever reason and i don't know why it doesn't have anything to do with the window but i like it i think it looks cool so that's why i did it and then i just carried the stars over because i thought it would be more cohesive all right and that was the making of the window journal spread thing <laughs> this one was 
probably one of my favorites. It will go down as one of my favorites. And I think a big reason for that is because it's so different from other things I've done. I've made, you know, half page spreads. I've, had, I've added like lots of interactive and flippable flippable <laughs> components to my journal. And this is just one of those things that it's super interactive. It's kind of different and unique. And um, I really enjoy like cutting out shapes in the journal to create unique pages. I just absolutely am in love with this window idea and um, it's not something that's completely unique to me. I did find inspiration for it on Pinterest. I don't remember where, but um, the way I decided to go about it is a bit different. But yeah, I was really happy with the way I paired the abstract face, the quote, and then of course the little window. Um, I got to paint in my journal, which was something I never do, um, or at least I haven't done it a lot recently, and so I was very, very happy to be able to paint in my journal and try something a bit different. So let's go ahead and stop talking because I know that this is just going to make the video super, super long, and I will show you the final flip through slash final creation for this spread. I, again, probably one of my favorites. <laughs> All right, so this is the final flip through guys of this one. I put a little quote at the bottom on some extra paper that just says to see the world from a different perspective, just because I thought this was kind of a different perspective for me when it comes to art journaling. It's much more artistic, I guess, to me to cre like paint a portrait or something in my journal. It just feels very artsy and junk journaly, and I really, really loved it. I'm glad that it adds a new element to my scrapbook journal. All right, and that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. As always, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did like it, and don't forget to leave a comment letting me know if you wanna see anything else that is like this, or if you have other ideas, anything like that. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I think that's all I have to say. So um, without further ado, I will uh, catch you next time.